Great food knows no bounds. It can bring people together, evoke memories of a time and place, or allow you to discover new cultures. This is the driving force behind Jollibee, the global restaurant brand that is on a mission to spread its special brand of joy across America and around the world. It started in 1975 as a family-run ice cream parlor in the heart of the Philippines. Before too long, the ice cream parlor was converted into a restaurant, which became the world's first Jollibee in 1978. It was more than just a restaurant. It was a place where families and friends gathered to enjoy delicious meals. Today, Jollibee operates more than 1,600 restaurants in 17 countries. Beloved for its signature fried chicken, called Chicken Joy, Jollibee is truly about creating a joyful dining experience that you won't find anywhere else. During this interview, we'll hear from Maribeth De La Cruz, president of Jollibee North America, to find out what it was that tickled her taste buds about the company more than 35 years ago, and how she will, through great tasting products, continue to spread the joy of eating. This is A Moment With. Hi. Hey, Jessa. Hi. Okay, look, I'm really excited to show you what our products are. Because you haven't tried Jollibee, right? I have not. I'm oh. really excited as okay, well. Okay, well, you. first stop is our Chicken Joy. Our Chicken Joy is actually our best seller, and that's what we're famous for. Yeah, okay, delicious. there's many stuff to try, and so are you ready? I am ready. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Beth, this is so awesome to be here right now. So my first question to you, though, is at home, do you consider yourself a foodie? You know what? I would consider myself a foodie, okay? Not in the sense that I would be the one preparing the food, but, you know, it goes with one of my passion, which is travel. And so whenever my husband and myself do travel, we make sure that we are able to taste like the local food and really just what people in that locality do enjoy. And, you know, I, I just really like doing that. So in a way, that would that could qualify me as a foodie, I guess. I love when you talk about the food. I can really sense that you're very passionate about how it, it really has the the roots of where it comes from, mm -hmm. you know, the essence of the Philippines. And so I really value that and love hearing you talk about the food. So I would consider you a foodie, absolutely. Oh my gosh, the food is coming. Oh my, okay. Wow. <laughs> oh wow, okay, you better be hungry. Thank you. Okay, great, okay. okay. So what do we have here? All right, so this is what I talked about earlier, okay? This is our Chicken Joy. This is our best seller, and this is what we are famous for. Um, chicken Joy is actually, we pressure cook it so that it really comes out juicy on the inside and really light and crispy on the outside. All right, so now I'm gonna try the chicken with the gravy. Okay. All right, here we go. Now's the moment. Wow. Okay. Let's just dip it into the gravy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's very rich but subtle. Mm -hmm. So Beth, you've had quite the career here at Jollibee. Can you speak into your experience and how you got here today and, and what, what has that been like for you? You know, I started out here in the restaurant, okay? So I started as a shift manager in one of the restaurants back in the Philippines. And uh, I've worked my way up from being a shift, a shift manager to a restaurant general manager and into an area manager and like, you know, really up the ranks into various leadership positions and operations. Um, way back in 2005, I was actually given the challenge to come here to the U.S. to help actually turn around the brand. Uh, it was struggling at that point in time and so um, it was really an opportunity for me to like really contribute my knowledge and the experience I have to help Jollibee uh, flourish in the U.S. Um, you know, my mission at that time, my marching order, was really just to take a look at it and see if it's really workable and if Jollibee can really thrive in that uh, fierce, competitive environment. But, you know, I know in my heart that, like, you know, Jollibee can have a place here in the U.S. And so I took the challenge and um, here we are, 25 years after, we're thriving and we're now actually ready to accelerate our growth. Love that. Mm -hmm. There's room for everyone too. So throughout your leadership journey, what has inspired you the most? You know, the founders of the company really inspired me. 
because um, you know I mean they have been very humble they have humble beginnings really starting out as like a two ice cream parlor unit back in the Philippines and you know they were able to grow this company into something that's known globally I mean they were they're very simple they're very humble but uh, their visions are like really forward looking they knew at that time that they can become possibly number one in the Philippines and you know the company was able to um, achieve that and then they set their eyes again on being one of the top uh, players in Asia and we've reached that as well and now we look forward to the vision of becoming one of the top five restaurant companies globally and and so that's really inspiring that you know our founders have this vision and you know just really being very humble about it what does the Jolly Bee brand mean to you as you can see like you know we have chosen a Jolly Bee mascot um, and really, bees are known for being very busy, but still being very happy, which is really showing what our employees are and what it stands for. Our team members like really love working and you know, while they're busy, they're also spreading joy and happiness and sweetness all around. And I think that's really the essence of the Jollibee brand. It's really bring joy to people. Excitingly, this year marks Jollibee's 25th anniversary in the U.S., as well as the opening of the 100th store in North America. Can you tell us about what these major milestones mean to you, the company, and what they mean for the future? You know, it's really amazing that we're going to celebrate or we're celebrating our 25th year here in, the, in North America. Now, um, just to give you a little background, North America has been tagged and identified as one of the uh, growth pillars of Jollibee Foods Corporation. And being a growth pillar, uh, it's expected that we will really be a cornerstone to the overall corporate vision of becoming one of the top five QSR players in the world. And so it's really exciting to be in this cusp of our uh, development and growth in the U.S. because uh, we're already at uh, 93 stores and uh, we're looking at ending the year with 100 stores right on our 25th year anniversary. Can you tell us a little bit about being a female leader in a highly competitive industry, right? What obstacles have you had to overcome? I'm really fortunate to be working with a company that really values women. In fact, Jollibee was uh, named uh, by Forbes magazine, okay, in 2021 as the one of the top female-friendly companies in the world. To be in a company that, you know, really respects uh, what women can contribute to the business, I mean, that's really wonderful. Um, you know, I'd like to tell you that just in my leadership team alone, eight out of my 12 leadership team members are actually women. And so that's really telling, that's really telling of you know, just really the diversity and the way that, you know, the company uh, values women. Some younger women would actually come up to me and, you know, just say, you know, congratulations, you're really such an inspiration. And, you know, can I just have a photo with you? And these are people that you don't know that says like, hey, you're making an impact or you're helping inspire other young ladies to, um, you know, really push them to achieve what they can achieve and like really push the needle and they can, they can go places if they want to. How important is it for you and the success of the business to surround yourself with the right people when it comes to company culture? That's really important. That's actually number one on our list of success factors. Um, I did mention that, you know, part of like the turnaround story of Jollibee is really bringing in a team that would really help me in uh, turning around the business here in the United States. So um, we brought in nine restaurant general managers from the Philippines who actually helped us inculcate the culture of Jollibee in the restaurants that we had during that time. 
So they were the ones that put into place the basic principles of our business, which is really making sure that we serve great tasting food. Our service is unique in a way that it's jolly and welcoming, uh, really reflective of like, you know, the, the kind of uh, culture that we have back in the Philippines. We're in, we welcome every guest to our home. We have like this big goal of becoming one of the top five QSR players in the world. And that's really a big goal for us to achieve, knowing that we are a challenger brand here in the United States. And so it's important that we have this shared uh, values to make sure that we are able to deliver on our mission of serving great tasting food and bringing the joy of eating to everyone. So, you know, the values that we espouse essentially is really customer first. Integrity is another value. And then the speed with excellence. And last but not the least is actually the spirit of family and fun. When looking to the future, how do you plan to remain true and authentic to your brand in a country where the competition is fierce? The competition is really fierce here. And so as a challenger brand, there's really a long runway for us. But, you know, we really believe that by setting our brand apart and really tapping into the authenticity of Jollibee can make us stand out in this market. And so our intent is to make sure that as we grow the business and as we grow our number of restaurants, we have to make sure that, you know, we, we stay true to the essence of who and what Jollibee is and remain to be authentic. But at the same time, also making sure that, you know, we broaden the appeal through development of products that, you know, are still familiar to the mainstream market, but giving our own unique twist to it. What does it mean for you to be here in this position as a person who inspires other people? It fulfills me having the ability to help other people as we journey into this uh, goal, because I think that, you know, it, it also has the avenue of helping people out along the way. So really, I'm blessed. Thank you. As Jollibee takes North America by storm, its delicious food and its welcoming service is proving to be a winning recipe from coast to coast. Whether you're a longtime fan or just discovering its uniquely joyful dining experience for the very first time, 